Hi guys and welcome back. This is Mike Hermes at MH Tutorials and today I want to show you guys how you can model a pipe with a flange. So we're going to get started with that. Okay, we're going to start in our polygons menu and I'm going to start off by creating a pipe. I'm just going to drag that out in the grid and pull that up. And I'm going to hit 5 for shaded mode. Now if you look closely you'll see that it's not exactly round, so I'm just going to increase uh, the subdivision a little bit. And I'm going to uh, increase that to about 40. Something like that. Okay. Now, now that we have that done, I'm going to hit E to rotate it by 90 degrees. And we'll just check that. Oh, there we go. 90 okay that's a good starting point and then we're going to go to edit mesh insert edge loop tool and i'm just going to position that about there and hit q to exit that okay now we're going to create the actual flange so i'm going to right click here select face select one face and shift double click on the next one so i got that then go to Edit Mesh, Extrude, and hit R to scale that out. Something like that. Okay, looks okay. All right. I'm going to drag select the whole thing. Hit Control D. Oh, I have to get it object mode first. Sorry. Right click, object mode, select it. Hit Control D, W to move it over, and E to rotate it. So it's facing the other one. And let's make that exactly minus 90 in this case. Okay. Now I'm going to switch views. And I'm going to go to my side view. And I want to position this one closer, but not actually touching it. Just leave a little gap open and we'll just uh, check that. Hit 5 for shaded mode. As you can see, there's a little gap in between. Okay, good. All right, now the next step is uh, we're going to create a bolt. So we're going to start off by selecting a polygon cylinder, like so. Drag it out in the grid, pull it up a little bit. We'll just hit F to zoom in. All right, and we're going to go to polycylinder uh, 1, and we're going to decrease the subdivisions to 6. So it looks like uh, the top of a bolt. Okay, and uh, normally these edges are a bit softer, so I'm going to right-click on this, go to edge mode, select one, shift double-click the other one, shift click, and shift double click and I'm going to go to edit mesh and select bevel. I'm going to increase the segments to 5 and I'm going to decrease the offset something like that. Okay so now that we've got that done we're going to um, create a cylinder, polygon cylinder drag it out in the grid and pull that up and what we're going to do is we're going to um, I think I'm going to increase the subdivisions a little bit okay in polish cylinder 2 tab I'm going to increase that to 40 to make it nice and round and I'm going to position that in the middle here so I'm going to do that for my top view like so and I'm going to hit F to zoom in, try and position that correctly, that looks about right, and the diameter looks okay as well, I think. So let's see if it's going straight through a little bit, but I have to stretch the bullet out anyway, so I'm going to hit R to scale that out. Just pull that arrow down a bit, okay. 
And I'm going to make that quite a bit longer for now. And hit W to pull it up again. And let's see how we're doing. Yeah, okay. That looks okay. And too thick maybe. Yeah, a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to hit R again. And I'm going to pull that back just a little. Let's see how that's looking. Okay. Now, I want to um, bevel this edge as well. So right click on that. Go to Edge. Click and Shift double click. Go to Edit Mesh. And hit Bevel. And I'm going to bring the offset back. So we get something like that. Now, this bolt isn't threaded, but you're not going to see the thread anyway, so uh, we're not going to bother with that. And uh, if you want a tutorial on how to do that, let me know in the comments, and I'll, I'll make one. Okay, so I want to combine these two, so I'm going to select this, shift select that, and go to Mesh and Combine, like so. Okay, now I want a little spacer ring here, so that's what we're going to create next. And um, we're going to do that by creating a polygon pipe. We're going to drag that out in the grid. And we're just going to pull that up slightly. Not too much. Um, I want to increase the subdivisions again because I want it to make it nice and round. So let's make that 40. And let's see how that's going to fit on our bolt. So hit W. And let's get that in position. Check it from my top view. And let's see if we can make that work. And I'm doing this without any reference. So, uh, you know, I apologize if I have to backstep now and then. Okay. I'm going to hit R to scale it out just a little bit. And let's see how that looks. All right, I'm going to hit W to pull that down a bit, and we're going to get something like that. All right, okay, and I'm sorry, I'm going to combine that as well. So I'm going to select that object, that object, go to Mesh and Combine. All right, so now we're going to place this bolt into this flange here. And as you can see, it's uh, way too big right now. So I'm going to start by hitting R and scaling that down quite a bit. And I'm going to get it into position. Hit E to rotate. And we're going to rotate 90 degrees. And I'm going to place it into the flange. So I'm going to go to my side view. Just hit 4 for wire mode. Okay, hit W and start to move that in. Now, obviously the bolt needs to stick out at this end, so it's a bit short. So I'm going to hit R and I'm going to stretch that out a little bit. Something like that. Hit W to bring it back a little. And we're going to look in our perspective view to see how that looks. Okay, it's not inside the flange yet, so we'll just do that quickly. Okay, so we can pull in a little bit more. Okay, so you can see the ring, you can see the bolt head, you can see a little bit of the bolt in between here. And now we're going to place a nut at this end. Okay. So um, we are going to select this object. We're going to hit Control D. Pull that out. And I'm going to go to Mesh and Separate. And hit Control D on that. And just delete that. All right, now we should be able to just position this at this end. And I have to switch angles to get that right. So uh, let me see what we're going to do here. I'm going to start off with my top view. 
hit F to zoom in. And we're going to start to move that into position. And let's see how that's looking. Whether that's OK or not. I think that's OK. OK, let's see in our perspective view how that looks. All right, not too bad. OK, now we need to duplicate this whole set here. So I'm going to select that. Select the nut here, go to Mesh and Combine. And now I need to duplicate this and position it. So I'm going to go to my front view. All right. Now, first I need to align the, uh, the pipe itself. So I'm just going to drag select that, move it a little bit like so. And to make it absolutely centered, I'm going to pull it down as well, like so. All right. Now I'm going to um, select my uh, my bolt set, so to speak, and I'm going to position that on this line in top here. And I'm going to hit Control D, and I'm going to pull that down. Hit F to zoom in a little bit. Let's see if that's about right or not. Looks so. Okay. And now I'm going to try something here. I'm going to uh, select both of them. Hit the insert key. And I'm going to position the central pivot here. Like that. Let's see if I'm uh, on the money or not. And again, I want to try this, but I'm not sure if it's going to work. Okay, so I'm going to hit E. And first, I'm going to hit Control D to copy these two. And now E to rotate. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it's not what I thought. Okay, Control Z, Control Z. I'm just going to do this manually. So I got that one. Control D. W to move it down and to move it over. Hit F to see if I'm uh, on that line. All right. Hit Control D again. Move it over to this end. Something like so. Control D again. Move that up. And that would be here. Control D again. One here. Shift like these two. Control D. Move that down here. And that should be about right. Okay. So this is what we have so far. And um, okay, not too bad. Now I'm going to drag select the entire object, mesh, combine, pull it up a little bit, create a quick ground plane. So in my polygons menu, I'm going to drag that out, something like that. I'm going to right click on my ground plane, go to assign new material, select a Fong E material, and I'm going to change that color to white, like so. I'm going to select my entire pipe model, move that over, something like so. And, you know, why not make this thing chrome? I like chrome. Okay. So right click on that, assign new material. I'm going to go with a MIA material underscore material X. Select that tab, go to presets, hit Chrome and replace like that. Okay. Now let's set up some quick lighting, create lights and point light. I'm going to drag that light up and drag it over. Let's see how that's looking. Okay. And I'm going to hit control D to duplicate that light, 
move it over here. Shift select both of them. I'm going to go to my point light shape tab and uh, in my light of in my shadow tab here I'm going to select use depth map shadows like that. Okay. Now before we render I'm just going to select the ground plane and hit R and scale that out quite a bit. I don't want the edges in my render. Okay. That's a pretty decent angle for a render. Okay. So now we go to render settings. And uh, I use an MIA material, so I have to use Mental Ray as my uh, render, like that. For my quality, I'm going to bump that up to about 1. And in my Common tab, I'm going to uh, select an image size of, um, let's do 1080, why not? Okay. Now this is all good. Um, I'm going to hit render. Hopefully it's not going to take forever. If it takes a while, then I will pause, but let's give it a go. So that's giving a nice uh, steel look to it, so that's not too bad. Reflection looks okay. Not too much lighting. Let's see how the bolts work out. That connections look okay. It's not too bad. We'll just give it another sec. Well, there you go. That's the end result. Uh, hope uh, you like it. Hope it was helpful. Uh, if you got any questions, leave them in the comments section. And uh, likes and subscriptions are really, really appreciated. Thank you.